Warning. The following shit video is chock full of fourth grade math. Turn away before you're exposed to the evils of math. Alright, before I get into the specifics of the ocean of the sea of autism which I've created, let me give you kind of a general overview of how damage is calculated in Dokkan mode. Now, first of all, there are three categories for, you know, determining the percentage increase for the Dokkan mode super. There's super shit characters with shit super attacks. There's mediocre characters with good super attacks, and there's amazing characters with amazing super attacks. Shit characters and amazing characters both have very high percentage increase when it comes to super attacks. Um, it's just the fact that because you're, for amazing characters, because the attack is so high, each button press, the percentage goes up, and overall the percentage is high. For super shit characters, because they're so shit, they have nowhere to go but up. So any type of increase is going to skyrocket their attack percentage because they're a piece of shit. And then for the mediocre characters, they're kind of like the middle class of America. They're just out there working their asses off, getting nothing out of it. Their percentage increases from anywhere from 3 to 5%. It kind of waves around there. Now, to be more specific, when I say mediocre character, I'm talking about characters that do 40,000 damage or 100,000 damage or even 200,000 damage. They all seem to have hover around the zone of 3 to 5%. The characters that do 40,000 damage to 100,000 damage are kind of closer to the 5.5%, 6% range. And then above 100,000, it kind of dips below a little more for some reason. Around the 200,000 point, it kind of dips even lower to like 4.8, 4.3. And it kind of keeps seems to get lower. And then eventually, there's some type of uh, inflection point where it just skyrockets. You know, for example, in the case of uh, Texel. Now, you might be thinking, what the fuck are you talking about? Percentage? Well... Look at this picture. Now, before I continue on, I guess I should kind of contextualize this by telling you the three formula that I use to figure all this information. And I use the word formula very loosely. Some of this is just arithmetic, simple algebra, so on and so forth. I actually ended up making an application for this, a Java application with the GUI and everything. So if you want to try, if you want to use it, you can check it out in the description. Uh, download link is there. Basically, there's three components. That is the uh, of raw damage increase, the percentage increase, and then the percentage increase in relation to uh, the initial value, which is zero for most cases, at least for this. And uh, basically, as you can see here on the screen, just basic examples. You know, here's the input. You know, four two eight six four four three five six one blah blah blah. Raw damage increase is calculated kind of like in fifth grade geometry, where you want to find the magnitude or the Distance between points, you do the initial, or actually the uh, the two point minus from the front point, or the initial minus the second, you just want magnitude, so it's always going to be positive. And then for percent increase, I recommend you uh, look at a, you know, if you don't get it for some reason, I mean, you know, just look at the uh, description as well as the picture. Simple example, you should be able to get it in lickety split. And then for the uh, percent increase, it's kind of, this is kind of more akin to what I see on the Dokkan Battle subreddit all the time. Just basically algebraic manipulation, the initial times uh, some value equals some value. Uh, and then you solve for x. x is equal to the aforementioned value, the bigger value divided by the smaller value. And then you get some type of decimal multiplied by 100. And for this case, the absolute percentage ends up being 105%. So this is like the basic formulas I use for the program and the data. All right, so enough contextualization. Let me kind of you know, go slow with this example right here of SA10, Saint Elite Vegeta, and then I'll speed through the other one since you kind of get the gist. Like I mentioned, raw difference fucking ain't rocket science. It's just simple shit. And then the, here's the thing. Here's the trend. Here's the pattern. Your very first button press will be the highest damage increase. Your very first button press will be the highest damage increase. From then on, every button press will be less than the initial, but there's some type of pattern. For the second button press, you will get uh, a little bit of a lower value. This will be the new highest value, and it will kind of repeat later on. As you can see, there's 465, there's 464. These two repeat in the pattern. Uh, the second button press and the third button press are pretty much equivalent in value. I mean, it's only one difference, and for others, you'll see they're pretty much the same, just one difference. And then for the third button press, it's almost half. It's kind of half of what it was before, but it's not. But it's it's so close to being half, I might as well just point that out. And then the fifth button press will then, again, it'll be a repetition of the values from before, the second to large values, 465 for this case. And then the last one, 
which is uh, the sixth one, will be the same as the fourth button press, which for this case is 232, 233, you know, same shit, different day. And then percentage of increase, it will also follow the same trend as you can see, 1.6%, then 1%, and then 1%. Then it will be about 0.5, then it'll go back to 1%, then it'll go 0.5. So basically, the data pretty much follows a trend. The first button press is always the highest. Then the second third is kind of second the largest. And then the fourth and sixth are the smallest values. So, now if you look at raw percentage in relation to initial damage, this is where things kind of get interesting. It's very fucking weird. I don't know why Dokken mode is like this. I don't understand it quite I don't know why it's like this. I mean, in the past, people have thought that every button press is 10% increase or 5% increase. It's not that simple. It's a lot more artistic than that. As you can see here, no button press is 100%. One button press, it goes up by 1% approximately. Then 2.7, then 3 point, blah, 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 blah. And basically, the cumulative percentage increase is 5.96. As you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. I just took the 100 out. 5.96 so about six percent as you can see on the screen uh there's miss two for three and miss two for five basically i missed the button push two and that basically verifies that the order in which you push the buttons does not matter uh if you press one two three or one two four or one five six they all count as three button pushes the super tag damage will reflect that it will be the same as if you pushed one two three the order does not matter. What matters is how many buttons you push. That is what determines the attack. And so that's about all Vegeta's good for. Now, now that I have that out of the way, you kind of see how the trends follow. Everything goes together. Uh, let's look at SA10 Super Saiyan 2 Goku. As you can see here, again, first thing is the highest. Second thing is the second highest. 722, 751. This time the data is a little bit different. Not as close together as it was before, but it does have the same pattern that the input five falls input three, where they're pretty much the same thing, 751, 752, and then also input four is pretty much the same thing as input six. And then now when you go to the percentage of increase, it's a little different than Vegeta's. And if you actually look at the cumulative percentage of increase, it's 5.22 as opposed to 5.97. So it's a little bit lower. Uh, I don't know, I mean, other than the fact that Super Saiyan 2 Goku's attack initially was a lot higher, um, it kind of leads me to believe, like I said earlier, that from 40,000 to 100,000, as you go up, it gets less and less, and then from uh, 100,000 to 200,000, it gets even larger. So let's, let's look at this, SA10 Super Saiyan 2 Goku with Golden Frieza, and this, I don't know why it's like this, but this is the data. You know, so it's fucking weird, but it's for some reason, this is the only one, only case I've seen of this. I've done about six or seven different cases with different characters. The very first one is 196, which is abysmal. It's super low. Then the second one is 2208, blah, blah, blah. Again, it follows a pattern. Two and three are similar. And then four and three are pretty much the same thing. And then uh, four and six are pretty much the same thing as well. And as you can see here, the percentage for this is even lower. Now, Super Saiyan 2 Goku's attack was about double of what it was without Golden Frieza, so it's it's weird. It's it's about five percent cumulative percentage gain, but he does more damage. So it's I don't get it. I don't understand what like what the actual what I was trying to figure out is how Dokkan mode takes the damage and what it multiplies by, but it's it's not a constant. It is not a constant. So now let me go to here. Super Saiyan Trunks. This is I, I figured I'd do one character that's super shit to see if it was different. And wow, fucking it really is different. Okay, so first of all, if you look at communal percentage increase, the highest percentage increase out of everyone, it's fucking ridiculous. Um it's not the highest uh raw cumulative damage increase. It's not, but like I said before, Super Saiyan Trunks is so shit that his percentage increase is just amazing. It's beautiful. So 12%. Um, it's, it seems like that the shittier your character is, the higher the percentage increase will be. From seeing this, it looks like that shitty characters will get higher percentages. 
Um, and then I'm going to go now to the big bad daddy of them all, to you are Perfect Cell. Obviously, because he does the most damage, his cumulative damage increase is the highest. Um, it also has the second to highest uh, cumulative percentage increase. It's almost 10%, so it's lower than Trunks, but higher than everyone else. Uh, so this is, again, like I said before, with the parabola. On the left side, very high up, you have shitty characters. On the right side, very high up, you have good, amazing characters. And then in the middle is kind of like the mediocre characters. Mediocre not in a sense of, you know, shit, but, you know, anything for 40,000 damage to 200,000 damage kind of lives in that zone of 4 to 6%, it seems. Um, so it, it, it seems like Dokkan Mode... I, I can't, I honestly cannot think of what algorithm they use to calculate the damage. It's fucking weird. It's really weird. I don't, I mean, just, I, I initially started off with just raw damage, right? I said, this will be enough. No, no, it's not. Percentage of increase. This will be enough. No, no, it's not. I tried to see if I could see something different with raw percentage, but not really. It's pretty much the same trend. It's you know, as you can see here, it goes from 100% to 102%. The end value being 100, almost 110%. So, it's weird. I don't, I can't pinpoint and say Dokkan mode. You press one button, you will get a 10% increase. Press two buttons, you will get a 5% increase. It's not like that. Each character is different. It's very weird. And this is basically what I've, what I've, what I've been able to conclude in conclusion. Is that this was not all for not. Please don't, please guys. Don't tell me all this fucking work was for nothing. Jesus! Uh, but, as you can see, super shit characters have a higher percentage increase. Super amazing characters have a higher percentage increase. And then the kind of baseline, kind of normal characters have a 3, 4, no, say 4% to 6% rate up in percentage-wise. It's very weird. I don't know why... I don't know why it's like that. I don't understand what algorithm they would use, but this is pretty much the data. If you'd like, like I said, I do have an application I made. Basically, you just put in all the data. After you put in all the data, you say, okay, I got you. Make sure everything's an integer. Nothing is allowed except for integers. You press okay. You will get the raw difference in damage. You will get percentage of increase, and you will also get raw percentage in relation to the initial damage, which is, you know, the first thing. If you liked the video, if you enjoyed the video, I put a lot of work into this. It took a lot of time. If you can, please scroll down and please, you know, donate a couple thousand dollars to my PayPal. I'm not asking for a lot of people. I think if everyone chips in, we could hit a million by the end of the week. Uh, really appreciate it. You know, I'm sure we can hit the goal. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully this wasn't, you know, helpful in some, help me, 